Good morning, everybody. Bill here. And day 66 of my recovery. No boost. Yay, good on me. It's my Monday. Let me first start off the day by saying we live in a fucked up world. There's a lot of shitty people on this planet, I'm telling you. Yep, I'm saying it. I ordered, um, you know, those ads that pop up on face or on Facebook and like ads on YouTube or something that shows some flashlight that just like lights up half of a building, right? Like, blam, there's half a building. This little flashlight just lights it up, illuminates it like crazy for like 25 bucks, right? Awesome. I go for it. So I wait a couple weeks, man. It took a while for it to get here too. So anyways, this package shows up, this little package right here, okay? <laughs> All it says on it, oops, sorry about that. So all it says on there is from some girl named Sarah, no last name or nothing, from uh, Glendale Heights, Illinois, okay? Nothing else, and then my address course I'll cover my address up but yeah this is this is it it comes in this package okay some Sarah okay and then it comes inside inside this little generic box okay with just this this thing on it that's it and then inside I mean it's not even the same flashlight that they were showing on the uh, ad, it's this cheap little piece of shit, like five dollar fucking flashlight, and I, I and you light it, and it, it, that, no, that's not gonna light up half of a building. It's like regular flashlight, like it's good flashlight, but it's not gonna light up like totally like illuminate a half of. Like, look like, the, the ad looked like a spotlight, you know? This is not a spotlight, okay? This is like a regular flashlight, right? And it's cheap. I mean, it's just the cheapest little piece of crap you could possibly imagine. Like, I paid 25 bucks for this fucking thing. You charge it with the, a little tiny cord they give you, and that's it. No adjustments, no nothing, man. It's just a shitty little flashlight for 25 fucking bucks. What a, and you can't even return it because there's no one to return it to. Uh, there's no, I can't remember the business I bought it from because I did it on one of them ads. It's fucking lame. Don't fall for that shit, okay? Don't fall for those fucking ads. They're fucking scammers. They fucking suck. $25 for that piece of shit. Okay. I just wanted to get that off my chest because that pissed me off. These fucking assholes got me. Fucking got me, man. You know what? I'm I'm done buying shit from those ads ever. I always got burned. You know what I mean? It's all scams. All these people online. Oh, I made a million dollars by doing nothing by just using my cell phone. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. I hate I hate scammers, man. They're, they're just there's so many of them these days it's, we just live in a shitty world man we do money is the root of all evil it's true it's true money is the root of all evil people are fucking greedy Greedy fucking people. It's these people, you know, these fucking people from these other countries, man. Mostly. Nigeria. You know, these places like that. Fucking China. Sick of them. I'm, I'm, in, a, I'm in a good mood. That just pissed me off. Because I just got it yesterday. And, um, you know, I was expecting this badass, like, awesome flashlight, tactical flashlight, and I get that little piece of shit I could have got for five bucks on Amazon. 
shit for the same for five dollars more i could have got a flashlight that would have lit up half of a building you know that was my sunday yesterday okay so we got one beer over my limit and that was on a sunday so i think that's pretty good i don't have a hangover today i feel pretty darn good i'm a little groggy Hi, Ma. <laughs> that was my pissed off Grover. Like evil Grover. <clears throat> oh, just woke up. I feel better now because I got my little rant off my chest because I got this stupid flashlight yesterday. I wouldn't have bought it if I would have known it was going to be a piece of shit, of course. You know, this thing sucks, man. Like, I can go to the 99 cent store and buy a flashlight that's better than this fucking thing. I paid $25 for this, man. Unfucking real Excuse my French, but I cuss a lot when I get pissed. But yeah, okay, I'm done ranting about that. Just don't fall for it, all right? Don't go for it. Just buy from a reputable, try to buy from a reputable source. You'll be better off because this shit's getting out of control. I'm seeing these ads popping up all the time, everywhere. It's bullshit. You know, all pop-ups are bullshit. Everybody's always trying to scam you, man. What the hell, you know? You can't, you know, if you, if you live in a country that can't get their shit together, fucking just revolt, man. Revolt. You people need to revolt. Get your fucking countries together. Even America, man. We need to revolt. It's time. We've got a lot of losers living in this country. A lot of pieces of shit living here in this country now. It didn't used to be like this. And there is a lot of good people here, but there's just as many pieces of shit in this country now and on this planet, Earth. A lot, half and half, I'd say. Half the people on this planet are fucking pieces of garbage, really, that are just sucking up resources and not providing nothing, not, not doing anything for it. Just, just, just take, 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 take. Use, 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 take advantage, you know, just takers, man. Too many takers, not enough, not enough givers. People are lazy. People suck. You know, there's just shitty people on this planet that don't want to, you know, carry their own weight. Carry your own fucking weight, man. I don't care what excuse you have. Carry it. Wipe your own ass. If I fucking wipe my own ass, anybody can. Shit. You know? All you gotta do is fucking get up. They make it too easy for people, man. To, And they don't hold people accountable these days for shit, you know? Like, okay. What have you done with your fucking self? You've taken this much, pro, you know, product and money. We've, it's costed the government this much to support you. What have you done? In return, nothing. Fucking nothing. And then, you know, they, they take the free handouts and then they bitch about it. Fucking idiots, man. I hate people that are just takers. I don't hate them. I just wish there was a way to get through to them type of people, man. And to get them to produce something, man, to help out and earn their fucking keep. I get, I suffer. We suffer. Us people that go to work and wipe our own asses. We get up every fucking day and we suffer, man. To me, getting up in the morning to go to work, it's painful almost, man. I, I don't enjoy it. 
you know. There's days where it's it's horrendous, especially when I got a hangover. I'd give my left nut to just lay in bed all day and, and you know, be able to do a nurse a hangover or something, you know. But you got to we you know, responsible people, we don't have that privilege, you know. That, you know, fucking people are just, um, this, it's a, um, entitlement problem. There's so many people on this planet that, that think it's in their head. They think they're entitled to the freebies on the backs of us people, you know, that work. It's on our backs. We're the ones working, making the money. And these people are just kowtowing off of us. And the government lets them. Fucking bullshit. Uh, do I got anything positive to say this morning? Yeah, I got 66 days of no boost. Yep. That's, uh, that's going to keep going for the end of time. It's my Monday today, so, you know, uh, yeah, let me add, you know, you should, the only way you should be able to get, reap the benefits of what, you know, this country has to offer is, is if you put into it, you don't put into it, you don't get it. It's that simple. The tit for tat. You know, if you're going to lay there and be a fucking lazy bum, you know, and not even try, you don't get the benefits. You don't get the luxury of having food and shelter and somewhere to bathe and this and that, you know, that we have to struggle to get for ourselves. What makes you think that you get it for free? Entitlement, that's what it is. <clears throat> it's a syndrome, entitlement syndrome. And it's everywhere. Yeah, oh, you think you can cut in front of line? Oh, you think you can run a light because you're fucking entitled? Man, those people start, you know, you know, you think you can walk into a store and just take shit, steal it, and walk out without paying for it? You fucking entitled pieces of shit, man. The day's gonna come. The day's gonna have to come where these, these people are gonna have to answer. I pray that I'm alive when that happens because I want to watch them squirm. Start locking them up, man. You, you know, just, they need, some countries, you steal something, they fucking cut your hands off. Literally cut your fucking hand off for stealing. You know they're too they're too soft on these these leeches of society. They're they're too soft on them. Bring back beating the shit out of your kids if he fucking acts like an asshole. Yeah, that works. You know talking to them don't work. You gotta fucking you gotta let them know who's boss and teach them, and and that's with spanking the shit out of them. You know, I got spanked when I was a kid. There's a line, fine line between you know, spanking your kid and then abusing them. Okay, I'm not saying abuse your kids. I'm saying you use corporal punishment and spank them. It works. Believe me, it works. <sighs> yep, he said it. Spank your kids. Don't beat them up. Spank them. Punish them for acting like a dick. You know, or a bitch, whatever. Kids kids can be bitches and dicks, too. I was bullied when I was a kid. And uh, that's how I learned how to beat the shit out of people when they fucking tried to bully me. I don't, homie don't play that anymore. I got strong and I grew up. I grew up, I got strong and learned how to defend myself. And that shit don't happen no more. People don't pick on me. I used to be a skinny little scrawny kid that was poor. 
and I got picked on because I was skinny, scrawny, and poor, and I had big ears, and I got made fun of, you know, to, 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 to the black people on the planet, I give you, I give you, a, in their defense, when I was growing up, they're the ones that stuck up for me, my black friends, they're the only ones that would, like, anybody that would fuck with me, they had to, they had to, deal with my black buddies that stuck up with me, that stuck up for me. They're the only ones that got me, because they were poor too. But no one picked on them, because they'd get their asses kicked. So anyways, um, thank you for your continued support and listening to my rant this morning. I had to get that off my chest because it was bugging me. Stay tuned for a beer battle I got coming up and more beer reviews. And Babu the Babu the Wonder Crow's been waiting for me for like two days probably because it was my weekend. So he's probably going to be if either there or he's going to be not there. We'll see. Stay tuned for that. Read it. All right. Have a great day. Uh, Excuse me. Sorry. Good coffee. Catch you later.